That's the thing about grace, though, is that it, there's nothing about it to attain. So, I mean, when we get to this stage of the conversation, it gets hard to talk about it, right? Mm -hmm. But you know, Hanuman, which in the lineage, the devotional lineage that I'm from, that I learned from Ramdas, and that he got from Neem Kurli Baba Maharaji. You know, we were devoted to Hanuman who's a, a monkey god, who is both the totality of the universe, is a perfect form of God, but also is 100% devoted and of service to God. So it's like a Christ figure, right? We have that duality. And there's this quote from Hanuman that's well known, which he says, when I know who I am, you and I are one. When I don't know who I am, I serve you. And that's probably as close as I can capture what the spiritual path is about. You know, when we think that there's something to do, then yeah, we put in good effort, we try. And I, I wanna crawl as close into just the bosom of God as I can. I want to get as close and intimate as possible. I, you know, I, I want to just, I, I want to just have the most intimate dance with Krishna. You know, I, I want to fully just crawl up under Maharaji's blanket, right? Whatever metaphor, right? Just that juicy devotional. I just want to get as close as I can. And it's almost painful, right? But it's a pleasure type of pain. And at the same time, what that bhav, what that devotional mood awakens at the core of that, because what I'm just expressing in this devotional love poetry, the core of that is love. And because love is the essence of reality and the essence of my being, that even though there's a part of me that's yearning and striving and going towards, what that's awakening is the space of love that I can also simultaneously rest in. So it's both. Mm -hmm. I'm both striving and resting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's the dance of duality, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, you just described it very well there, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, I think you pulled it out of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. Yes, to remain a humble servant, in this bodily vessel at the same time knowing that you are the totality you are literally everything but at the same time that doesn't mean an action that also actually that gives me more action to serve knowing that i am everything and everybody is me that actually gives me more gumption to serve others and serve god essentially um yeah that's the, that's the vibe that's kind of what the whole this whole path is about i think when you know putting it in a realistic term is that we're all just servants here. We're all just here to serve each other. And how you serve God is you serve your fellow man, your fellow woman. Yeah. And yeah, that's the gist of it, man. That's uh, that's the dance. Yeah. Because Hanuman also is said to be in the space where not only is Hanuman 100% devoted to Sita Ram, to God, in Hanuman's chosen favorite form, but Hanuman actually sees God in the entire animate and inanimate universe. So when Hanuman is looking at the world, when Hanuman is looking at other beings, Hanuman is seeing the essence of, of Hanuman's devotion. So, so of course, Hanuman wants to be of service to everything. And this has been another big part of my path. And you know, in, in the writings in my book, it's, it's a big piece that I bring in, in terms of, you know, me really learning that a critical questioning of my own mind uh, can, and it seems like it needs to be a part of the spiritual life. Because when I look at all the programmings I have and all of the ways that I don't treat 
other people or the earth like as manifestations of God all the time, right? And collectively, we know that we don't do that. And collectively, we know that there's entire segments of the world, uh, you know, various people of various identities that we literally some people we don't look at at all, people in the prison system, for instance, and all sorts of other people on the planet. I mean, we do not look at them or treat them collectively as manifestations of God. So that's where that pull of the heart, that devotional path, um, that discrepancy there, um, that's going to cause pain. And there's something to look at there because my devotion if I really want to be in God's presence all the time, then that means at some point I have to look at that stuff. I have to look at those programmings. I have to look at all these segments of the world that aren't being treated that way. And um, there's probably going to be some natural pull to, to act in some way. You know, each of us, we have our own dharmas, but, but in some way, um, in some meaningful way, you know, turning towards these blind spots, so to speak.